Okay, well, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Wish we could see you, um, but right now I just see a number of uh, the people who are joining us. So um, thank you for joining us. My name is David Bensinger. Um, one of the administrators and I oversee the AP program here, including testing this year. Also on the side here, you should see Janie Dom, right? Janie Dom is our testing coordinator and also John Tevis, uh, who is providing support from the Office of Instruction. And so I so, want to welcome you all. Um, and before we get started, just a little bit of housekeeping here. The chat is open, right, John? Yes. So any questions people have can type those in the chat um, or the Q&A, and we'll get to those either throughout the presentation or um, if it's a question that we want to make sure that everybody can hear the answer to, John will pause and read that aloud when it's relevant to us. Um, also, we've scheduled um, enough time so that we'll have a chance to show you some information about the uh, exams this year, but also leave plenty of time at the end for any questions that you may have. And then of course, any more individual or specific questions, um, we'll share information on how to reach us. Okay, so that's where we are, who we are and what we're doing. Um, but really the purpose of tonight's presentation or, or this afternoon's webinar is to share all the information we know about this year's AP exams, how you find out information about them, what you need to do to prepare for the exam if you're taking it on campus, how you prepare for the digital exam at home, and then who can help you. And we'll start by just acknowledging that this has been obviously a very um, unusual, difficult, hopefully unique year. And we know that AP exams can add another layer of stress on for you all. And so our job and really our goal is to make it so that you feel well prepared, well supported, and um, ready to do your best on this exam. And so that's really what our goal is. So we wanna be, uh, we're gonna be as flexible as we can be this year. We're limited by what the college you are, most comfortable, most prepared to take your AP exams. Okay? Uh, before we jump into it, John, Janie, anything you wanna add introductory wise? I think you did a great job, David. Um, I will try to answer some of the questions in chat as well as uh, John as we go along. Uh, we'll probably share uh, John's email address as that is the main contact email for you because um, I'm already seeing some questions regarding uh, technicalities. So um, we will provide uh, John's email address and uh, he will work with uh, David and myself as a team to solve your problems. So thank Perfect. you. Thanks, Jenny. Um, so the, the best place to get information is, is going to be directly from the College Board. Um, and so to do that, most of you are familiar, if you register for the test, it's through the, your MyEP uh, College Board account. Log in there, you'll find out the information about your exam dates, the exam locations, and that's what College Board has on their records as your location and your exam date. And so double check that, make sure that's correct, whatever date and location in that or in, on that, uh, when you when you log in, that's going to be where they're and where we are expecting you to be on the day of that test. Okay, so make sure that's correct. Anything that is not correct on that, um, please make sure that you are reaching out to John, myself, or Janie, and we'll we'll get that fixed as soon as we can. Okay. Um, we are offering on-campus uh, testing for AP this year. Um, that's already been scheduled. So um, again, if you have any questions about it, if you change your mind, reach out to us and we will do whatever we can to help out on that. Okay. All right. So as far as the on-campus exams, if you're scheduled to take one, you should have received an email about two weeks ago. Inside of that email were all the directions that you had to do in order to make sure you can come on campus. Um, it is a different situation because obviously of COVID-19, access to campus is limited. So in order to be able to come on campus, there's a waiver that parents need to sign in that Google form. Number two, the second thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you have a negative COVID test within seven days of your scheduled exam date for your AP exam. We offer on-site testing, on-site COVID testing. That information is in that email and once you sign that waiver or you digitally fill out that form and, and complete that waiver, you will get that information about the test and we'll schedule that for you and we'll take care of uh, making sure that 
um, you get your results in time for your test. Test. Okay. Do you have a robinist before the start of the exam? You'll be here by 11.30 a.m. Uh, access to campus is going to be so you'll hate you're going to use to come in. And then there's a health and safety check that you have to um, pass before you can come on and yourself. And so we'll have someone who will collect that for you, make sure that's stored somewhere safe. And then at the end of the exam period, you've got to leave and go home. Okay? Well, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh, you can't stay on campus after exam. Uh, John, Janie, are there any questions in the chat about on-campus testing before we move on to the other ones? I am only seeing a question about personal device, uh, nothing in particular on uh, physical campus. Uh, there's one for q and I want to mention. So the times listed at college, at your AP classroom, if it's on campus, then that's the exact time. So if it says 9 o'clock or 9 a.m., for example, then you're going to be here 9 a.m. on campus to take it. If it's a digital exam, I believe it's Eastern time. So if it says like 12 o'clock Eastern time for your digital exam, but you got to start three hours earlier. So just make sure you have that in mind. I'm getting questions about that in the chat or in the Q&A. you about that where teachers remind you about that but um you know those all started the exact same time worldwide so it's very important that you were on time for that those exams with the um exams on campus those also have a start window. that being said if you're not here for that exam we can't let you in once that exam has started so we'd have to if we're able to reschedule that okay um, we're going to work obviously very hard to make sure that if you're one of the 10 students scheduled to be on campus taking that exam, we're going to harass you and get you to come on campus so that you don't miss that exam. We know you've been working hard for that exam all year and it's important for, uh, to you. Okay. All right. Let's jump on to digital exams and I'll give the, um, all the background on this as much as we know. If you took an AP exam last year, it's similar but different. Um, and the biggest difference between exams last year and this year is that this year the exams cover the entire course. Last year's exams, you might remember they were a little bit shorter. I think most were around 45 minutes or so. This year the exams are the full length. So you can expect that digital exam to be about two and a half or in some cases. With that being said, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a very reliable device on which to take that exam. And devices that you can use to take that exam. Uh, you can use your Granada Chromebook, which we will support and make sure that's ready to go. Uh, number two, you can use a personal computer, uh, but you'll have to download the app on your own for that. Number three, um, I'm sorry, those are your two options. iPads, iPhones, and personal Chromebooks will not work, but your Granada Chromebook will work. And so there's four steps to take to make sure that you're ready for that exam or to take the digital exam. Number one, is to download the digital testing app. If you're on your Chromebook from Granada, that's already been done, that's out there. Uh, step two, log in, start that app, and then you can start some practice tests and practice uh, questions on there. Then you jump ahead to when your exam is scheduled to begin. Three days before that date, you're gonna sign in, you're gonna check in, and it's gonna do a readiness check for you to make sure that your device is ready, okay? Now on our end, we can see when you've done that. And so we'll make sure that we're reaching out to you and, and you don't have any issues, okay? But three days before the exam, you've got to complete your exam setup. An important note about that, the device where you set up your exam. So we encourage you to log in and take the practice test so you know what it performs before you complete the setup, because after that you can't change, okay? Then on exam day, you need to check in 30 minutes before the exam, okay? And I believe the exam times are um, 9 a.m. 
and then also um, 1 p.m. Okay, local time. So make sure you're signing in 30 minutes before those digital exams. All right, for those of you who are deciding to take this, uh, take those digital exams on your Chromebook, the way you access that secure app or that digital exam app is when you log in, don't log into your Chromebook, start it up. You'll see in the lower left, there's an apps button. Click on that and you'll see one that's labeled 2021 digital AP exams. Then you log in with your college board username and password. That will take you to this screen right here. You have the option for practice. And then when your exam is ready, you have the option to complete exam setup. Okay. That's what that digital one looks like. And a little bit more information about that. You'll see that screen when your um, exam is ready for you to access. So I'm going to pause there and go back over to Janie and John and double check if there are any questions about that setup or the digital exams. We have many different questions in the chat and I believe there are questions in Q&A as well. Okay. Uh, not necessarily uh, related to what you just asked. So let me pause and I'll go through some of the questions on the Q&A. Um, the first question is about on-campus exams, when to take your COVID test. We recommend you take it um, I would go for exactly seven days before your exam is scheduled, okay? And the reason for that is in the event that you get an incomplete back and test again. Most of the time we're seeing our results come back within um, one to two days, but just give yourself that time in case something does go wrong and you wanna make sure that you have that uh, negative result before you come on campus, okay? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um. There's a question, there's questions about cameras. I believe you do not need to have a camera on. I think the AP, the AP app has built-in security features to make that you don't need to use your camera. Correct. Um, if you have two exams on campus, the same day, one hour apart, you may stay on campus. And what we'll do is we'll identify an area where you can go in between those exams and take a little bit of a break, okay? See. And there's a question that if uh, you're late to an exam, can we uh, retake the exam at a later a different demonstration, I guess? So what happens if, if there is, let's suppose you get a flat tire on the way to the exam. Okay, College Board does have a way to handle that. What you do then is you will file an appeal and then we would connect with College Board and make sure that the reason because reason for that appeal is one of their acceptable reasons, right? So an acceptable reason might be, for example, a flat tire. Uh, might be you come down uh, with an illness that day. A not acceptable reason would be, uh, I wasn't quite ready and I wanted to wait till a little bit later to take my exam, okay? With, the, with uh, the digital exams, technology issues are an acceptable reason for a makeup or retake. However, we wanna make sure that we have a process where we're do documenting what that reason is. And so, as that date approaches, we'll share that with you. But the basics of that would be, you've got to call us when you have that issue to let us know that you're having an issue, okay? Just checking in a day later or two days later and telling us that you couldn't connect or your Chromebook crashed is not going to uh, be accepted by the college board, okay? Um, also on that, we do not want to, um, sorry, let me go here. Um, we do not want to um, have you stressed out on the day of the exam. So we're not going to try and solve a tech problem. If the exam has already started, we pause it and then we would uh, petition for that makeup exam on that date. Okay. And there's a question about attendance. Uh, yes, we will. You don't need to worry about telling your teachers. Um, we run it on our back end. We have lists of everyone taking AP exams and we mark you as you're attending a school function, which is an AP exam. Um, so you don't need to worry about attendance. Okay. And so um, there's a question. If you can't find the app on your uh, Chromebook, uh, there is some of our students and, and myself included are seeing an issue where it, the app is there, but it shows like a long name. If, um, and it's like, it's a nonsensical name. They had a naming issue earlier. So the app is there on, on your Chromebook and try that. If you still can't find it, 
uh, give our tech support a call. Let me put their number up here for you. Um, they're at extension 370. And there's a question of uh, bringing anything on campus uh, for testing. Actually, we recommend that students do not uh, bring anything that they do not need on the exams, such as uh, if they bring their cell phone, um, we will have to keep the cell phones uh, at the proctor's desk and identify it and then return it to the student after the exam. They cannot have it during the exam. Uh, we, in the past, would provide um, bottled water, and pens and pencils, but uh, because of uh, health and safety reasons this year, we recommend that the students bring their own um, writing utensils. Uh, so that'd be, you know, pen pencil that they're comfortable with, uh, and the pencil should have an eraser. They may bring their own bottled water, and I would recommend uh, using a Sharpie and you know, putting the name on the the uh, the bottle so that you you know that it is yours and during and you you can only take the water during the break and you have to maintain uh, social distancing during the breaks and then take your just your own water and not touch <laughs> other people's things uh, and then um, that's basically it uh, no smart watches or any electronics allowed uh, as usual uh, the only thing for the math and science test that require uh, some sort of programmable scientific calculators. You may, of course, uh, bring your own. We will not provide um, school calculators for the students. It's their responsibility to do so. And um, we will check to make sure that all calculators are of the kind that, that are, are permitted by the College Board. So make sure you read through the manual. Um, it's very clear what the College Board allows and does not allow. So make sure you bring the right uh, calculators. Um, and just a few more on that, that's, that's the end of our slides that we had today, but, um, but just to reiterate, we want to make sure that, you know, don't want you to stress out if you're taking the exam at home and you have tech issues, call, um, call the help desk, leave a message, that message then gets transcribed into an email for us, so we have that documentation, okay? Your time on the AP exam is limited, so don't use that trying to solve a tech issue, okay? Um, Technology issues are going to be a legitimate um, rationale for a makeup exam. That being said, um, we're not going to have much control over when that makeup exam is. Okay. Okay. Um, college board is going to set that date. So you can one that is whatever synchronized worldwide. Everyone. At the same time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just just go through um, go through the Q and A here. John, if you can put this um, presentation in the chat so that people have access to that, and we'll also email uh, this. and a link to this recording as well. Okay, John, we are recorded, right? Question now uh, whether yeah. that's one to mention. Uh, and by current, they can bring their ID from last from year. From last year, last year's yeah. current bring, <laughs> bring the most current one that you have, yes. the one that looks as much, much like you as possible. A um, couple more questions here. You can download the digital testing app on your own device, but just know that it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for us to help you with that before the exam, because different devices are gonna be so different, okay? Um, but again, you can take it on any laptop, any desktop, or your GHC Chromebook that you want to. But don't forget that whatever device you activate that exam on or set it up on, that's got to be retake that exam. Okay, so choose wisely. Uh, digital practice, you'll see there's a couple of options. You've got like a shortened one where it just gives you an idea of what the app looks like. You'll also have one that's going to be closer to the full length of the exam as well. Okay. Uh, next question, you can take it again on different devices. If you want to back out of the exam, um, if you decided that for whatever reason you don't want to take the exam, uh, you can cancel that exam. The best way to do that, two steps, email us and let us know. And then step two, don't activate or start the exam. Okay. Otherwise, they will record that you started it 
and they will record that um, they're expecting a score from that. For the paper, uh, for the in-person, the paper and pencil test, um, if you decide that you don't want to take that on campus for whatever reason, let us know as soon as you can and we'll see if we can reschedule that to the digital exam. Okay, Janie, anything uh, out of that? Yes, um, I, yeah, just be sure, don't even open the email, don't touch on any links if you're not wanting to take the test because it's pretty sensitive. Uh, and then the, uh, and don't show up, you're not taking the uh, written exam on campus, don't show up. Uh, we'll just be no show. Okay, as far as what the exams look like, they are, um, they are going to look much more like the traditional AP exams than the ones that you took last year. Did. So if you're taking the paper and pencil version of it, the traditional format, you can expect multiple choice and some short answer exams like a normal year. If you're taking the digital version of the exam, you can expect multiple choice and short answer as much as that device can accommodate a short answer, right? So for example, if it asks for a drawing on the paper and pencil one, it might ask for that in a different way on the digital version of the test. But the two formats are gonna be comparable in terms of what they're testing, okay? Let's see, will they have a tracker browser similar to Alpara or GoGuardian? I don't know. They haven't told us exactly what they're going to do as far as monitoring um, testing security, but you should know that it is a, um, it is like a lockdown browser. So I'd assume don't go to other, um, okay. other, other sites on there while you're, while you're taking that at home. Okay, you don't wanna do anything that's gonna endanger or put your score at risk. Okay, so assume they are going to have some sort of way to, to see what yes. you're doing. And through your APID, uh, it is tied to your permanent record, testing record. So all of that information can potentially go to all uh, colleges and universities uh, who participate in AP examinations. So you need to be aware of that. So uh, two more questions about um, testing on campus. Number one, um, you need to test no earlier, no later than, sorry, no earlier than seven days before your exam. Right, so don't test two weeks before your test because that one will have expired by then. So test seven days out. I would recommend, and our recommendation is that you test on exactly seven days out or as close to that as possible so you have your results in time, okay, in case there's any kind of hiccup with it. Number two, as far as the um, testing dates, you, can, you don't need to schedule an appointment. You can come any of those open hours. And uh, John, I believe we're testing, we're testing Monday through Thursday, is that right? Yes. Uh, Monday through Thursday in the afternoons. Okay, but give yourself a little bit of time if you are going to um, test for that. Okay. Um, there's a question ahead, about COVID testing and exams. Uh, yeah, a COVID test will be, I guess, one week worth. So you have three exams in one week, then one COVID test will, will work we'll for cover that. that. Okay, but if your exams are like two weeks apart, um, we're going to ask you to come and do a second one before that second exam. Okay. Um, once again, attendance, uh, don't worry yeah, about attendance. We will be letting exam. people know. Uh, we will be letting your teachers know on the back end um, that you'll be, uh, be not being class because you're taking an AP test. So here's a question. If you, if you just don't show up to the physical, physical exam, um, remember Granada is covering your registration fees this year. So there's nothing to refund either way. Um, however, for our planning purposes, if you can tell us ahead of time that you're not going to be present for an exam, that'll make it easier for us because we do have to set the rooms up for social distancing. We do have to hire extra um, extra proctors because the number of students per room is limited and we're limited at about 15, right? So, um, and so we need to make sure that we have people in the right rooms, okay? So if you can let yeah. us know if you change your mind. And then again, we'll try and, um, what we'll try and do is make sure if you wanna take that one digitally instead, we'll try and schedule you for that, okay? Let's see. So there's a question, will there be a final exam for English, history and math, uh, not 
meaning not the AP exams, but final exams in the classroom? Yep, remember your, your AP exam and your class are two separate things. And so your teacher will give you guidance before finals week as to what your final assessment will look like either a project, some might do a paper, some might do a, a, an exam itself, okay? Uh, but in the event that there's a conflict with, with that because maybe you've got a digital exam scheduled for finals week, we'll let teachers know ahead of time about that. So you can work around that, okay?